And since we already talked about the camera and the sound, we now need to make ourselves look good. Ah, oh, the topic of lighting. You might think that the good old sunlight makes everyone look great on camera. It is bright and it's free. However, huh? the problem is with the sun that it is so far away and it becomes a pointy source of light. This Whoa. is considered one of the ugliest types of light. That is why everybody loves to film during the sunset, where the sun is low and gives that yummy diffused light with the gold tones, nice rim light, long and soft shadows. Mm. But what to do if that's not an option? The easiest thing would be film in the shade, or if filming inside, try positioning yourself next to the window. Wait, we are in Great Britain. What sunlight? There are many affordable options when it comes to LED lights. Single point lights, LED panels, light tubes, colored RGB lights, and so on. In short, LEDs are great because they don't produce much heat, they don't use much power, and they tend to have an amazing color accuracy, and they are very reasonably priced. For the best result, try using two or more lights. The most important one is your key light. It should be very soft and flattering. The other can be diffused or hard, depending on the look you are after. If you will be recording yourself on the green screen, you will need a background light for your green backdrop. Always remember, the light can make or break an image. So be very cautious on how powerful you need them and where you want to position them. One thing I'm sure you already noticed yourself, the overhead spotlights. The nasty looking pointy lights, switch them off before you start filming. The important thing is to separate yourself from the subject in the background. Because your eyes tend to look at the brightest parts of the image first and it will draw the attention where it needs to be. Make sure to avoid unintentionally mixing light sources. If you are using sunlight or recording yourself next to the window, make sure to use only daylight balance lights as a supplement. So the last tip and probably the easiest one, ask a professional for advice. That will save you loads of time, money and potential embarrassment. The darkness is only the absence of light. So let's share the bright ideas in order to make your vlogs look beautiful. I think I ran out of time to talk about makeup. I guess we'll talk about that next week. <laughs>